Thames Valley Police Students, we can help. Can I help? Uh, yes, my love. Um, my daughter's been missing for 48 hours. It's worrying me because it's not like her. Um, what's the specific concern that's caused you to call the police? Him. Ambulance emergency, is the patient conscious and breathing? Oh, there's okay. blood and he doesn't look conscious. Does it look like he's been attacked or injured? Yes, it does. Police emergency? But yeah, it looks like there's a body, a dead body beside the road. The death of a woman in Milton Keynes, days after she was burgled, is being treated as murder by police. Following the discovery of a man's body, we've launched a murder investigation. At the beginning of any investigation, you know nothing. It's a blank canvas. I'm unfortunate that there's a lot of unknowns. Our job is to try and fill the gaps. We've got to secure as much evidence as we possibly can. Paul, I believe you know something more than you're telling us. Can you understand how a, a picture has started to build? What have you seen? A very calm and very polite person. What happened? You can only imagine the pain that they're going through. One of the most awful days of my life. It's just so hard to understand. Those who start lying to us, we will find out. Can you see how many inconsistencies there are in what you're telling us? Quite chilling what he's done to these two people. The net's closing in on them. I want you to tell me about the last time you saw money. What we want is some forensic evidence. This is their job, and they're extremely good at what they do. These people, I don't think they really care about the consequences of what they do. I think that he's a psychopath. This is a massive moment in this investigation. I keep going through it in my mind, imagining, you know, that level of terror and fear.